so ran into a little snafu. I actually broke one of my hammer handles trying to pry up the top. So Get some more masks. we're getting some more stuff that we can keep ripping up that counter. Maddie's gonna help. But one item is an axe. So here in the Azores, they have these places that they call Chinese stores. It's pretty much Walmart. Uh, it's just, I don't know exactly why they call them that. But they got pretty much everything. Like you walk in, it's just clothing in the back. They got hammers, they got all sorts of stuff. It's also like really, really cheap stuff. Like it's not gonna last. But for a short term project, I mean this big heavy hammer is only six euros, so. It's currently glassed in the back, so we can't actually just like pop it off and out it goes. So we've tried a couple things like trying to wedge it and break it and all these things. And we've come down to the idea of an axe and a hammer. So the idea is we'll just put the axe and then pound on it and hopefully chip through the wood and then break it free. Next step is going to be to get this out of here. And yeah, that's the next step. In order to accomplish that, we're gonna saw it into little pieces. Just like the bodies. Sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's really quite amazing. A lot like Yellowstone National Park, but but different, obviously. It's really cool. We're here at the Sulphur Pits on Tercera, and it's quite rainy and foggy, but it kind of adds to the mystery of the pits. It's really quite beautiful, and I can't wait to come back again when it's sunny to compare the experiences but the thing one thing is it's smelly <laughs> are we crazy for coming here on a day like this yes do we regret it yes just kidding no it's cool <laughs> Going to a cheese factory, and cheese is my favorite thing in the world. Oh, that is good. Okay, time for review. They're all really good. They kind of go like this one is the most mild, and um, this one's probably the most milky. That one has the most flavor, and this one's spicy. And they're, but they're like, they're all completely different, but they're really, really good. Oh yes, you should. You're so sweet. Just no, 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 no. And every time I see.
exciting that we're getting all this work done on the boat uh, what with the galley refit and right now the head refit but I have to say um, living under these circumstances is not ideal the boat is it's pretty much just a bed to us right now we don't have access to the galley we don't really have access to the head and um, we don't have a table to eat at, so we pretty much just sleep here and work. It's not exactly the most hospitable situation, so I'm really looking forward to it all being done. However, it's going to be a long time before that's the case. So right now, things are not really awesome for living but thank goodness we're in this beautiful place and in a couple days we're going to be going to Flores just to get away from it all and take a break from working before the holidays so that'll be really good it's just a little bit frustrating because we are constantly losing things it's impossible to find anything down there because it just gets lost among the among everything <laughs> so I mean, it's a, it's a very mixed bag right now. It's great that we're getting everything done and that the boat's gonna be so much better when we're, when we're back in the water. But right now, like living on the hard is difficult in and of itself because you have to go up and down a ladder every time you leave or come back. And we're up on these jack stands, which can be a little nerve wracking sometimes. It's just, you know, we're not living in comfort right now. So, I am really looking forward to a break. I mean, a lot of people think that this trip is like a giant vacation for us and we're just, you know, enjoying ourselves every second of every day, but it's it's work for sure. It's it's not all play and right now is the perfect example of that. While Herbie's been working so hard in the head, I have not been doing nothing. I've been editing videos like crazy. And right now my task is to just kind of clean and put things in some kind of order. Even though that seems like an impossible task right now, I'm going to kick it in the butt. So after a long full day of ripping rot and foam out of the shower's floor, we went out and got dinner and now we're back in the boat. We're gonna watch a movie. And I got me some Oreos. <laughs> So we have all the wood in the bathroom torn apart and we're gonna let the what's wet but not rotten wood dry and the rotten wood has been removed. It's really cold in here. Yeah, it's 56 degrees, so it's kind of chilly. We're all packed and ready to go to Flodish. Yeah, so we're gonna stop working and go on vacation. So, uh, yeah, mid-bathroom renovation while we're waiting for the kitchen stuff to be all ready and all that's going on, we're just going to go. Now, you might be wondering how we can just up and leave in the middle of a project. The thing is, we're in this incredible place, and we just haven't been taking advantage of it, which has been pretty frustrating. Even though we're getting a lot done, it's like we could have been doing this in the U.S., you know, so sort we got of. a little bit... Materials are too expensive there. Right. But we got a little bit um, sad about that, and so we're going to just take a little mini vacation and yep. see an island that we were going to fly to anyway because in order to get there by boat, it's the furthest island, and it would be backtracking. So Yeah, it'd take it's about a day to sail from there to here. It's about a week to sail back because the winds are never blowing in that direction. So we're going to fly. Yep. We're really excited. Yeah, so we're going to be there for the last week of my visa. And then my visa runs out and we fly back to the U.S. You see those falls and that, that lake down there? That's where we just were. Hi, cow.
Book your next adventure with Travel GNU, a website that makes it easy to book hotels, rental cars, and tours anywhere in the world. Find the link for Travel GNU in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to follow our journey in real time on a map, receive postcards from our ports of call, and messages directly to the boat, you can go ahead and become a patron using the link in the description down below.